I'm going to go on people. So we're here again with another live video. Hope everybody doing good as always. You see me? So for the people that are just a jump in, you leave a like on the live, said we. You see me? Help you push the channel. Help for YouTube show out the, the broadcast to a lot more persons. You see me? Yeah, so we're not going to waste no time with that one, yeah. So, um, Vibes Cartel Lawyer was on the Angie Stevens show. You see me? And he speak some things about what happened today. Because Paul Alwinning make it clear, say, yo, oh, she are going to push for a retrial at the Court of Appeal. And as we know, we Vibes Scartel them Lawyer stand and them basically want an acquittal. But Paul Alwinning yeah, they might go push for a retrial. You see me? Also, another thing we might go address in another video yeah, is um, Paula Lewin basically I say, oh, um, Vibes Car tell him lie, yeah, basically I push some misleading information. He might go clarify that again. You see me, people? And that him would rather this appeal dealt with out of the public eyes. Because the public view might be or might affect how this whole thing go. Might affect the jury them decision. Cause remember, you know, if she a push a retrial, that's more unlikely way to go. You see me? So all the things I go speak in other live, yeah. As me I say, if you're just a jump in, just leave a like on the live said way. Is what me I say so YouTube can push out the live. So no can so more people can tune in said way. But yeah. Leave a like and yeah, that's it. So we are gonna jump in at the video now so we can hear what go on exactly. You see me. It's a, the defense certainly stands united in taking the position that listen, we're not trying any case in the media. There's no need for clarifications after the fact. Because if one this is why context matters, if one looks at the judgment of the Privy Council. Mm -hmm. Everything that you need to know and every everything is in the judgment in relation to the facts that are before the court or, or, or before the that was before the court and what the Privy Council pronounced on. Um, the next thing I will say is in an adversarial system that we mm -hmm. have, the criminal justice system is an adversarial system. What mm -hmm. people must understand is that the defense as creatures at the defense bar is there to defend, albeit being an officer of the court. They yes. find themselves defending. Um, similarly, the prosecution, they too as creatures at the bar um, have, are going to prosecute. It is in their nature to prosecute. What is clear in terms of the ethics, the ethical implications is that defense win cases prosecutions do justice so where emotions are concerned one can strip um the reality of the emotions and mm -hmm. think we must not be um blindsided or or distracted that yes. what has happened is a monumental decision that has implications for the common man Take take out take out who these popular defendants are. That's how I'm going to refer re refer to them as. I know that your brother, your sister, your your father, somebody who is not of means, are is expected to be cloaked in the presumption of innocence. Is supposed to have what is known as fair trial. So when somebody says that the Constitution says has been, is being and is likely to breach the constitutional rights, we must give effect to the Constitution and understand that when mm -hmm. Justice Sykes speaks about the importance of the Constitution in needs and the way forward in how we interpret the Constitution, no one should be allowed to, 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 to breach constitutional rights and treat it as, it as if it is not a breach. This is generally... So to 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 bring critic to have the public put on their critical thinking mind. Yes. What is it that we must accept as a people? 
is that mm -hmm. if we want better, if we hope to one day get to Singapore, there are just certain things we are not supposed to um, allow to happen. No, we are guided as, as attorneys by the canons, the, the, ethical, the ethical canons. And it is important to note that those canons, one yes. refers to Canon G for defense attorneys in terms of how they are to conduct themselves as mm. officers of the court. And likewise, one refers to Canon H when it comes to um, attorneys that, on the prosecutor side and how, how their, their ethical inf implications and how they are to conduct themselves. What, mm. is clear, what is clear, though, is the discourse is unfair to the gentleman. Because the jury pool, we expect one of the things where the Magna Carta says is you're to be tried by a jury of your peers. Codified in the Constitution of Jamaica is that you have a fair trial within reasonable time by your peers. An impartial jury. A fair and impartial jury. That's the, that's the hallmark of a fair trial. One cannot get that when we have these public discourses and, 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 and have the village lawyers start to, to, to make implications against yes. um against the and, and influence the village judges before they get into the court. It has to stop because this is something where if the constitution has any effect, and I can tell you there's only one done in this country, and it's the constitution. Oh. So whether you're on the green side and the orange side or you're on the justice side or you you have big job or you're homeless. The Constitution is the done of all dons. And if you're not acting in accordance with the Constitution, yeah, you are a degenerate. You cannot do that. And we must never allow anybody, whoever they are, to breach the rights of, 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 of the citizen. This is generally. But Similarly, then... no, just let me make this one point. Similarly, one cannot allow the, the, the platforms... You, you included. We must not use our platforms to paint narratives, mislead the public, misguide the public, for instance, even by inference. So an article was published in the paper, and, and, and there is a there's a conversation about mm -hmm. jury tampering. Well, I'm going to make clear to you that a reading of the Privy Council judgment, one of the key reasons why the conviction was quashed is because not one iota of evidence was presented anywhere that the men, all four of them, had anything to do with jury tampering. And if one goes back to my presentation before the apex court at the Privy Council in mm -hmm. my advocacy and plea to have that conviction quashed, I made it clear we must never attempt to speculate because if the public thinks that it is yes. the defendants who are responsible for tampering with the jury, it can equally be put at the feet of the prosecution. And mm. I am saying the basis of the press release is to say we are not to do that. We have to respect the justice process. We have the judicial process. And the, the, this went to a, a, an appeal that took 14 years to get there, 13 years to get there, close to 13 years to have the matter concluded. The constitution speaks about delay and we have all these things to be ventilated. Can, so can, can the public just step back a bit and allow the justice system to work? It works. I've been saying this all the time. So you can do what you want at first instance. So you're asking your call and the call from the attorneys representing the men whose convictions yeah, have been yeah done, yes is for us to lay back for a while and let natural justice take course i'm gonna do more than that and then i can show big stone at me do what not, you want just listen do not disrespect the office of the dpp but do, no no just hear me out just hear me out if you are on the defense side don't be disrespectful don't be rude don't put out defamatory accusations that you cannot prove. Just simply do not do that. The facts speak for themselves. The judgment speaks. Listen out, the judgment speaks for itself. So if at any time you are disgusted, it is what the, ju the judgment says. Nobody have to add flair 
and nobody have to put context or angles or anything to it to have anybody say anything. I'm just asking for the purpose of what is happening. Nobody don't need to disrespect anybody, certainly on behalf of my clients and myself. We don't need no advocates to get into what is called the trenches. The defense mm. deal with law. Let those who dig trenches and gamble and do whatever they have to do, let them do it. But we are not... So you're asking for the personal attacks on the DPP to stop. To stop and make it clear that not one person on the defense side has made any attack. And we must put things in context that... Because the DPP class. is saying that there is a campaign of mis mis misrepresentation. Well, the, I'm and you're saying I'm that it's not the I'm going to tell you something. It's only one misrepresentation ever win eight Grammys. And it's the, misrep the misrepresentation and miseducation of Lauren Hill. And that was a good album. But mm. anybody, did, if you want to fact check, look at the Privy Council's ruling. And if at any time somebody don't understand, I am prepared to sit for 10 hours and read from the top of the judgment to the end of the judgment so that people understand that context matters. I am very happy to say that when this trial took place, mm -hmm. I was not a member of the bar. So I was not at the court at first instance. And so My when apologies. Const... Repeat that. Repeat that. I was not a member of the bar and I was oh. not a part of the trial. But what I can say is when I went to the University of the West Indies and I was taught about constitutional rights and the importance of the charter, I've been yes. on this platform and I speak, I spoke before as, as to how young the charter is and how- 12 you years old. It. Yes? 12 years old. Yes. As old as this trial and say that the constitutional rights is for all. So I don't care if you dislike Mr. Palmer or any of the other men that are a part of this case. What you need to know is that it, when the Privy Council made its decision, it made its decision because the effect of the breach of the fair trial rights and the integrity of the justice system, the judicial, the, the, the jury system, the Magna Carta, the importance of that would have, have affected England so much so that a man... Can, it cannot be said that a man is only free when he breathes the air in England. And so if the guilty man, mm -hmm. the, the purpose of it is so a fair trial is that when you are adjudicated guilty, is that you do it. We don't deal with feelings. So all mm. people who like to talk about feelings and who, who from Mumma want ball and who want to do this and pretend like, say, people right. are, are upstanding. We must know, we must appreciate that it is the system that we are protecting. And when, when the apex court has said, even said, we sympathize with the judge, we sympathize and we make it clear that if there are, are problems with the law, it is upon the parliament to fix it. But what is clear that in there is case law that's guided and the case law says a man cannot benefit from tampering mm -hmm. with the jury. Tampering can only take place from the outside of the jury room. So when some when the when things when there's an infestation in the middle inside the jury and you are aware of it, you are to cut that infestation. Fail, failure to do so, you have you have ratified, you have become an accessory, and you mm -hmm. and, and it is it is a most unfortunate act, and it's not something that we must pretend like. It never happened. Those are the facts. But then I want to ask you the next question now, Isa. Mm -hmm. I saw that the DPP is now talking about a jury act being amended. Mm -hmm. yes. Can you explore, can you explain to the common man why is she now rushing to amend the jury act? So, let's, uh, so this is what people must understand. Yes, explain. Um, context matters. Explain. Context matters. Your learned DPP, notwithstanding how anybody feels about her, she has years of experience and do, for make no mistake, she knows the law. Mm -hmm. 
many legislations which have been put forward, she has been a part of ensuring that there are, where there are gaps in the law, she says, my office cannot do what they're supposed to do. I need some assistance. That is why the jury has been reduced from the nice 12 to about seven now. And wow. questions and implications come from that. And that will be ventilated for the public to understand mm. the significance of the whittling away of the jury system under that type of thing. What I will say is, and don't be shocked, but I agree with her that we must advance our laws so that people who were the parliamentarians are lazy and the people who are responsible for updating the laws. Yes. We must wait until a dog bites a baby. We say, oh, we need to change a $100 fine. Mm -hmm. It must be updated. That is a part of um, improving the jurisprudence in Jamaica so we can be proud of the laws because they work. So I join with the DPP that the act must be updated. Had we had so what does the present act reflect? What the can present you... act says we can't go below 10. And if we go below 10, the judge has a duty to keep to, to, to respect the constitution, to, to, to uphold fair trials. And if it if in if it goes, if it reached 10, if he has to discharge the 11 for whatever reason and reach mm. 10, that's the end of the matter. No matter what day of the trial, no matter how much money spent. If you cannot use the mechanism such as um, a, a warning with particular, mm -hmm. if you can't protect from bias, impartiality, um, influence, corruption, poison, all of these things, yes. gambling, I'm using all of them, then you must, must, you are mandated to discharge regardless of the advice given. And those those who give advice who are creatures of the constitutions when giving the advice you must take into account this is not gambling it's not a party shop it's not cash party buying it's people's life i be if i cut it right there so what like almost 500 i would upon the live and we're still there around 50 i'd like so please just click off of the live chat Head over to the like button, like, and just forward back to the live track. Is it me? I say? Again, blessings and respect to everybody who tuned into the live. Is it me? Yeah, we get back into it, you know. But and so, so moving from that, the inner in England, uh, yes, the jury, if it was reduced to ten, the trial could continue. We need to get there. Also, if it is that the it is found that the entire jury is corrupted by mm -hmm. let me be clear on this because the case law is clear by the actions of the defendant yes. then the judge discharge the jury the jury and continue with trial alone because mm -hmm. a man must not benefit from manufacturing or being the author of corruption oh or author of influence we want that for our jews our, our our justice system and mm -hmm. similarly, while this legislation is being amended, because I would have heard or, or seen in the newspaper where our justice minister says, yeah, I'm going to just amend it and just amend it quick, cut, cut and paste. We have a little bit more conversation to have yes. in terms of the implications, because we must remember we, we are in a place where a jury system, the trial by um, the right to the trial by jury protected by the Magna Carta, jury of your peers, still remains the choice for people. And so, so we cannot, no, we cannot no, manufacture that because we don't no want one, to... There's no an argument happening in the court of public opinion mm -hmm. whether or not we should do away with the jury system and just have judges as the lead you're i'm sure you have been hearing about that do um, away with the, the jury or just have judges um ruling over cases what's your take on that so here's my take on this and and excuse me public for being very superficial is it you me you know me look good i me dress up i me brush my teeth i might eat them nice I mean, me beard, I'm a come up court, I'm a spend my money for my cologne, I'm a glasses, I'm a twist up my hair, I'm a come out, I'm a shirt white because I'm a helper, I use the washing machine, shout out to big up to my helper, I wash my clothes. Because me do all of that, me really 
me ready for the jury. So all the women them on the jury say, yeah, good body, Ross. Tell me what about you know, the case. The jury, the, the importance of the jury system is that mm. your advocacy is important, um, your your ability to bring your case across, and it is it's, 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 it is the reason why the advocacy is so important. I can tell you this. I what. I watched a case and I, yes. I, I give please permit me to tell you about this. While mm -hmm. I was a law student, I watched the Huey Gowdy child. And Huey Gowdy, don't vex with me, but you know I was there. I have to talk about this. And yes. Carolyn Reed Cameron, who is now the the public defender. Public defender. Yes, Casey. She went up against um Valerie Nita Casey and Mr. Robert Fletcher. Mm -hmm. When we say it nice, it nice, it nice, juries, anybody who was on that jury, please one day call into the audio show. I never see a movie nice, so it nicer than Bada Draw TV, it nicer than Royal Palm Estate, mm. it, it, it nicer than Pink Wall. I'm gonna say, mm. Carolyn Reed, she's a prosecutor, you know, and me at the defense, so I said, Go, Carolyn Reed, I said, Lord, me love you, you're nice, here because the, the show was just beautiful and it what at the end it was the prosecutor that 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 brought the justice and the split and and you saw the minds working the advocacy yes. to convince a jury of, mm. of, of, of the issue of self-defense and and and, and a, a, a lesser charge of, of of manslaughter and we saw all that things coming out and the jury was so captivated by the eloquence of miss reed cameron and uh, the eloquence of Miss Valerie Nita. So two nice, 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 nice top counsel. At it. At it. And you say, look at the brilliant mind. War of words. War of words. And then you have to wonder, what the jury going to do? Because you don't know because they were both so good. So when you see the um, chief justice um, in, in another jurisdiction say, yo, you will need to up them game because them, the law program to to flashy flashy wishy washy we need to keep the standard high hey. so we don't practice law in the trenches we want advocacy that is that that has substance and the J J jamaican people know fool fool you know mm -hmm. them do love to do the push-up mode and say so you are ad so you are advocating to keep the jury 100 percent in fact, in 2013, I did my independent research paper at the university and I posted yes. on Facebook. I said, Cartel, this is going to be the reason why you get out of prison. I mean, never even turned lawyer yet. And it's almost oh. like, yeah, I know I don't have a no garden, Andre, so none of that. But just I said, prophecy fulfilled, just like that. Oh, and okay. so people Wait, need so to you're understand. So you're a prophet, but canon from 2013. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. But more than that, I just want people to understand that it is no, you. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Let us go back to what you just said. Yes. Are you saying that from 2013 you had right a submission knowing how cartel would have come from prison? Yeah. So from say... 20 from, from 2013 you have been sitting on this document. It's there on Facebook for you to see. I'm 100 percent sure I can share. And it you're saying is it the same argument he went to the privy council and used? The same argument without reading the transcript. I knew that bias, influence, all of that. Because I can tell you, even the layman, when you yeah. listen to the, the discourse between the people, the what we need to why we say context matters is at the end of the day, the corruption and the taint and the bias. For for instance, if I if I were on that jury and I was listening to the evidence and I said, but the man them not guilty. And I hear say police outside are wait for lock up people. What will be my what will be my verdict? Mm -hmm. That is the question to ask. So anyway, moving from that. So the jury is so important. I am of the position that um So how much oh how, how many persons do would you say under the revised jury act is substantial for a case? Seven, or you, you think that they need to go back to the 12? If I think they need to go back to the 12, let me tell you something. Jamaican people don't like sit down nowhere for too long. Mm. So all me, me can't manage more. After two hours, I'm ready for sleep. 
So if you're gonna if you're gonna inconvenience me, me not gonna, me no business. And if me tell if me tell the judge, listen, Mr. Judge, me have one appointment Wednesday. I'm a can come and the judge say, You're a citizen and you must do this. Me just go so not guilty. Can't come wow. like you want come, you know? And so the thing about the jury is you all the thing about the secrecy of the jury room. This is what I wanted to get at. Why I start yes. with in terms of presentation is everything. You're gonna always have that the peers, the trial by twelve, the Jesus, the, mm. the disciple. You're the gonna disciple. have the, you're gonna have the doubting Tom. You're gonna have the Judas. You're gonna have the Peter who are gonna deny everything. You're gonna yes. have the rest of them that wanna go out them yard, and then mm. as, as a quorum they come together and they give the verdict in the jury room. You're gonna have the lady where say, "You see, my spirit not my spirit not mm. take that one there. Watch how him go on." Mm. Uh, all dirty rats think me I go believe him. No, right, don't believe yeah. him. Then, and it has nothing to do with the clients. But you mm -hmm. have to contend with that. Because there are some people that say, listen, I'm hearing... Spirit not take you, so therefore I'm in a deal with you. you no, but go also, when it, it, that's the beauty of the, of the jury. But we accept it because it's our peers. Now, you can imagine a trial by judge where um, judges have wisdom, you know. So when it comes to technical matters, maybe a trial by a judge alone is would be beneficial. But you can't yes. convince you can't convince a defender that sometimes. But mm -hmm. one thing I can tell you is, don't take it for granted because we have some bias and prejudices. Just go over Twitter, and you understand. If you oh, come yes. from, if you come from certain neighborhoods, you're neighborhood, you get, you're, you're, you're yeah. already, and, you're and already we, yeah. So those biases, we just say when we hear say a young man, them say I, I always talk about the case of Antonio Thomas. He went to prison. He was convicted for being black, and when I say black, black skin, midnight black, no mm. other description. It didn't fit the description except for him was dark skin, and his conviction was overturned last year by the court. Here and in that, was, that was and that was judge alone, but it was overturned. So biases can be that you come from a certain neighborhood. We don't like how you dress. We don't like how you do this, and you and you find yourself guilty. You but, were the one who did that case, huh? You were the one who did that case with the. Of Antonio. course, oh, of course. Black man. Black man. So we we we. How we, many we, years was he behind bars for? Five years. Lost, lost the opportunity to be with his kids for five years. But the court and and our courts, you know, their wisdom acted judiciously and swiftly. They let him out. In fact, they let him out the same day. At the end of that particular appeal, or something like that. But I want to ask you now, Isaac, where yes. they learned the DPP? Mm. He said, "See you in court." She was quoted to say, "See you in court." Mm. I gather that. She's preparing her documents for a retrial. But hold on. This is what I think. This is the thing that, I, that you, you see clickbait. Uh -huh. Clickbait is very interesting. Where else would you see us, Madam DPP? We're going to have to come to court. The, the defense is going to have to go there. Come and to the court. It's going to have to go there. And the, the thing about it is that the... the, the the learned DPP has wide powers on a section 94. She may very well on the day say, having looked at the file at the time I'm summoned by the court, I'm not going to continue. Mm. So her saying, see so you you're court. saying that the DPP could make that ruling and tell, tell, tell the court of appeal that she not going to continue with this case. She did it in, she did it in, in George Williams. And, and, and it's the way how things are reported, why people don't understand that. Myself and the DPP, we have clashed in many cases. Several, times. several mm -hmm. times. And there was a time before before things escalated where she said, go sit down, I will do it. And she would say, sit, I am trying to help you. And she does what she do and the matter is disposed of. Oh, so you have had good times in the courthouse with her? We have a very, we have a very interesting call up call up but what i want to make clear that notwithstanding everything you see in the media notwithstanding all of that appreciate that the 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 prosecution and defense have an adversarial um relationship mm. i can have lunch with you right now but when the trial starts 
we cursing and we arguing. And then the case done, and there are many other cases because in the middle of the this part. So, so you want to make it clear to the public tonight? Yes. That outside of the courtroom, you and Paula and many of the prosecutors do have cordial discussions. And of course. In fact, there in this case, it might seem this way, but in that case, you write, you write a letter, and there you go. Matter dispose of this and that, and check the public. She had the DPP respectfully would have dismissed matters with her powers when she looked at the evidence. The thing where people understand is when you don't like something, you complain. When it works, so you, everything is all right. But when it comes to the facts of each case, and for yeah. me, when it comes to the Constitution, I have no compromise. I Everybody should to follow it. Uh, you did a video today, right? With, yes. Um, yeah. With that beautiful lady from... Co is Coda they call it? It's Coda, yes. Coda. Can you explain? Because a lot of Jamaicans are calling me. Mm -hmm. and saying oh them here's the cartel can get the bail and support i said but cannot can mm -hmm. you explain to the ordinary man why your legal team has not yet saw bail for mr cartel can you explain to them that there's something that the uk can you explain to them explain well, the what, 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 what i would say is that um you can go on my instagram page or you can you can look at code and the video was explained that's why i did that video because in so many pockets but since we're there partner draw universe yes Come I, on, will, I will just explain it explain Listen, it to them a lot we of people are awaiting we are awaiting the um official document from the privy council the per the perfected order Right? You hear what he's ex waiting for? Wait, to explain. Yes, we are, first we are thing, what he says is ex he's waiting for Jamaica, the perfected order from the Privy Council. Write that down. I don't want you to call me again and ask me. About right. That. He's and waiting I, for the perfected order from the Privy Council. Go ahead. Yeah. So, in the absence of that, our court certainly can't act. But I can tell you this the, I, I know, I know the court is ready. Our court, in fact, and I'm, I, I don't like to name drop, but if yeah. anybody, go Google for yourself. If anybody know who Justice McDonald Bishop is, she the, the, the law has been developed sufficiently when it comes to delay. Mm. In fact, the, our court of appeal, they despise delay and they criticize delay. And with the right affidavit before the court, so speaking to my, my fellow counsels, when you have yes. your cases, when you identify delay, it's a ground of appeal. Mm. And the court, the, our court is very, 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 I'm going to use the word jealous about seeing delay because it's a constitutional breach. And the effect of the breach, whether it be by um, declaration, comp um, declarations, yes. compensation, or, and they have in the past quashed convictions because of such delay, the court has been making the effort to hear matters expeditiously and of course so nobody have... so i'm not so so no no one is no one is worried about the tone of the court and to understand that when i say that the justice mm -hmm. system work it, it it does we are now in 2024 and i'm yes. telling you if the if, if our if, if the captain justice sykes if ask anybody sometimes we're the way the court is now when when you so when you're you, saying basically the court is waiting on the privy council to send that document that's basically and thereafter exactly. once that document is sent both sides the defense and the prosecution will be will be doing their submission. movements on your mark get set, get set see, you, see you in court don't have to interpret anything else outside of that so the, the village lawyers can just scale it back and just just watch the ride you hear that jamaica so there's nothing that ISAT or the DPP can do until King, the King himself, King Charles III, signs off to the document and send it back to the local court here. That's where right. people like Justice Mac, what is their name? Justice McDonald Bishop. 
McDonald Bishop, those learned counsel, big up on yourself, I hope I will never have to appear to you. Will listen, look over the documents, and proceed. So it's not a hard process. It might be a little time, but the time is not long. Do you understand? So they, they are, according to the press release of the defense, they would have really hoped that the court will throw out the case because after 13 years, the men have done time. And as the, as, as the Privy Council has said, the issue has been quashed. So they no longer have a criminal charge on them name. They are no longer convicts. They no, convict this, I want to tell you, I want to give you a big joke. I what go and see them today, right? You went to see them today. How they doing? Hear, hear them now. Um, they are not convict. Oh. You see, you see how people when have conviction can show a word from people with conviction. <laughs> Oh, so they might tell you, say you are. They might tell me, say we are not the same. Oh, <laughs> my God, <laughs> say listen, you are convict, me is not. So try, try, do, try, do, do. You know what I'm saying? So it was interesting. So they are in high spirits, and um, I'm very um, I'm happy about that. So you like know? how they are no longer convicts, are they put in a different sec section of the prison? So unfortunately. Our prison system does not accommodate those things as it as um, it reflects like mm. first world countries where they have pre-trial and detention and stuff like that. We just yeah. we just you just there where you're there and you're there where you're there and that's just it. Oh, so so, so, so I I'll, I'll answer that. But like I say, um, we are at a good place. I think I think this case would have strengthened the jurisprudence. In, in Jamaica, mm -hmm. I think that um, the recognition of the fair trial right is for all. So we as Jamaicans should all celebrate. Um, and they, I mean, there are vloggers and there are, there are spaces where you can go when you don't, if, you, if, if, if you're just an emotional wreck and your village lawyer skills is just low, you can just go there and you can, you can hang out with those people and you mm. can be like, Oh, you go to daddy, and when you go to daddy, you say, Daddy, 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 they breached the fair trial rights, and now, now, now the conviction is quashed because you're a fool. And then you make you, you, you see the rest of the lawyer, leader. yeah. So you can't, so you can't, why do that. you have a problem with Serpy you now? With who? Serpy that sounds like Serpy. I, 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 I don't know who it is, but I have a video for you, I have a video for you because I, I know the law, yeah, but anyway. Yeah, so you can go to those spaces and you can deal with those people and you can feel all right right there. So. But we're not dealing with wishy-washy people who actually don't know the law. We deal with the law and we deal with facts. Yes. And we em emotions is a place where you can express that through music because it's all in life. Cue me there, Mr. Mr. Producer. <laughs> anyway, anyway. But the truth is, yeah. you're saying that the gentlemen are... In a good spirit. Mm -hmm. I saw today on Vibes Carter. I don't know if it's him managed. I doubt it's him managed the page. But his, the, the, the things on his Instagram. Let me go look for it because I follow him. Big up to Vibes Cartel. Big up Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. He played the Cliff Hughes interview today. Yes. With the learned the DPP. So here is his response, Jamaica. Hold on. Did she just admit that she and Suchman have done this several times before? Oh, so it wasn't the first time constitutional rights were breached. When you're poor and can't afford to fight all the way to the top is a hell of a thing. The constitution is a sacred document and the constitutional rights belong to the people regardless of the social and financial status. So Vibe Scartel is saying when he heard the sentiments echoed by the DPP today. He was alarmed by her statements. But according to ISAT, let us just ease off the matter for a while. Let the, let the matter be tried by himself and the prosecutors. No, let, let the matter be tried by the court and you, the public, because what a bangarang you hear all of this nonsense and you see now your mail. 
you are summoned to the court. Hey! You're not going to go on like you don't know, know me. <laughs> but I thought. Yeah, what's that to me? Listen up, man, depend on this. My, listen, I'm in this university, I'm depending on you. So I don't see me at This court, university, you would not feel, you would not feel, you would not have no problem. The students over here wouldn't feel you on the jury. All I say, is I don't want when I don't want when I get a beer. What a bang the wrong because of the discharge. Hey! And when them done in a when them done in a I sat them call and say, teacher, what if I do? Are you afraid enough? <laughs> teacher. Hello, I get, if you ever get called to be a part of the jury. If I if 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 such ladies ever gotten the chance to do a retrial and them say them need a jury, if them call and no, don't call me and tell me no, because you no know, now make justice Macdan. I wear the, the name again, Macdan and what's it, Bishop? Come, come call me before and come lock me up and put me in no prison because Andre <laughs> influence the position of no jury and can't and contaminate no jury. So you hear me say too no. If you know no seven is a student a partner draw, all when the case sweet to know, you know shut to them out and send me a WhatsApp. What but just to put you? just to put it in context, do you yeah. see the danger of having this matter in the public? It's a myth because first of all, Andre can influence the decision because there's the Andre show. I said, come over here on a Friday night. And the whole jury watch me. The whole of Jamaica watch me. So how then can the case be really tried in the, the in the public? It's it's a so a retrial is really at a disadvantage, don't you think? But we leave that for the court, and the court, in all their wisdoms, will 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 do justice in accordance and in keeping with the constitution. And we have to maintain the integrity of the justice system mm. and the justice system. When I speak of the justice system, I'm speaking about the judiciary. I take this moment to, to make three things clear. Um, Mr. Mr. Bert Samuels would have, um, whilst in the appeal, would, yeah. have, would have written and made the request for that volume 10. And that volume 10 would have revealed all that all that has unfolded in this mm -hmm. in this case um and i say that so people understand and appreciate that you see when it comes to what happens at the end of it yes the same way andre can influence a jury it's the same way people can put out information and it's misinformation and then they said so when you go to the jury you you know what you do you just bring back a verdict because we can't have these things happening you understand so that that kind of thing and so oh. these people these people are in essence god flies miscreants wow. to, to, to the justice system and to and to, and to, to ensure that we maintain the justice system that is the judiciary that they that that are the costus morum of the constitution the guardians of the constitution the guardians of our rights as human beings under the constitution citizens of this country we have to ensure that when we have a duty to ensure that justice is served for all of us the least among us that's what this conversation will always be about and i just hope that um when we deal with context matters that people appreciate yes. that and start to educate themselves and think critically because we are going to be responsible for de reducing crime you know 31 people dead and people still worried about um the wrong things we need to worry uh, we need to be very prospective in our thinking to ensure that we, we we start to protect each other lives that's where the conversation is this this oh. conversation we, we we can't be stuck on this and so I'm pleading to the public. I want to ask you, do I say? Yes. With the pronouncements coming out of the DPP's mouth today, we spoke last week, Friday, about the Innocence Project, right? Yes. Don't you think with that pronouncement from the DPP is no time to advance the Innocence Project even further? I, 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 must, I must say this to you, you know. Um, the time, I, I just know, you see, God on time, Mm. Uh, well, when when time come, I won't be in these colors. But so don't be, don't just understand something. But you mm. see this this God and time thing. 
when the universe is aligning, you know, you're gonna that's why you can't curse people because they're gonna have to do what they have to do because God wants it that way. True. So we really don't have free will because I would have gotten calls from South Africa, the UK, three really? you yes, three universities from three universities in the United States alone today, 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 have after those statements in terms of the innocent project. We after those statements on this program. Yes, no exaggeration. And if I called you, called me because I've made pronouncements about the need for our innocence project, and I am I am being offered funding, and I haven't really? even gone, I haven't even gone on the Ratigan show yet where the funding is supposed to start in terms of getting this thing going. The innocence and project you're saying that time. from you talk about that. No, so I guess you all got good. No, they yeah, yeah. has just bolstered that because one has to wonder and we want the public should not sleep at night, should not sleep tonight without saying, but I wonder how many, how many, I'm not, being, I'm not being condescending, but how many, how much ghetto youth, how much little black boy with them skin dark and them, 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 them not, them not groomed properly. Mm. And, and and treated like vagrants is languishing in prison when they said to their lawyer to, to 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 society i didn't do what i'm accused of and i made visits in the prison today to at least three people that had similar jury issues or similar identification issues and now one has to wonder if if we really need maybe an approach to legislation yes. that will mm. allow a review to, to with, with a view to ensure that ordinary citizens had not been turned into criminals because we have a way that we feel how we feel about criminals you know and how we feel about rehabilitation and reintegration and 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 i can say that the world has has marched along in terms of what we expect the criminal justice system to do it is a it is it is it is the rod that doesn't spare the child or the adult that thing yeah. I'm really happy to know that the universities, both in the United States and South Africa, have reached out to you, mm -hmm. um, particularly to offer funding for this Innocence Project, because at least 30% of those who have been prosecuted in Jamaica are under the, uh, uh, have been innocently wronged. And to know that if you got this project up and running, you could see that many of those marginalized men and people are freed. So that is something I think we would really want to see you advance quickly and get off the ground, even on, at the Isaac Buchanan Institute. I'll volunteer my time to get those stories out because I when I saw- the Isaac Buchanan Institute though, I know mean, nobody chose stone over, over, over the Institute. You understand? Well, I as the guardian, as, as the guardian of the institute, the protector <laughs> of the realm. Yes, 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 yes. As yes. the guardian of the institute. Very well, very well. And the protector of the realm. Any choice to another show for me, I will protect right. you. But I think we would it would be good if as a show mm. we could go into some of those cases from time to time and look at what happened to John Brown 20 years ago. Read the case, go into it and look into it. Even get my production team to do a little documentary on like 20 minutes. Where are they now? Those little investigative CSI documentary where we can do and somebody do the voiceover and look at the context of what the person was prosecuted for. People would watch that. People would rally around that. So it's something that would really use to mm. advance the natural justice in this country because... Very true. Too many young men in this country have been put away wrongfully. And I don't know how the prosecutors can come and admit it. And it is business as usual. When I hear that, me at the time when I go use a privy council. But, my kids. So, so, so we have to put that in context, you know. Yes. That was in relation to a practice of the jury, the, the jury that is that is now um, corrected by the Privy Council. 
and the, the, the corrective measures through legislation and strengthening of the legislation and strengthening strengthening the jury the jury um system to include yes. crowd of people money should be set aside so when you're on the jury then put yes. you on the pegasus or putting in sandals and well, then I can mute you guys and all of these I... things so they live big life so everybody, everybody would have said, Lord, me need, you know, when you stress out, you say, Lord, me need a jury case, right? So no, because we don't like for the over, uh, you know, as we speak. We don't like for the over the Pegasus on the big floor. I mean, hope the, we hope the trial lasts all six months. So we don't have, we don't have to live in my, my, my house, we pop down. As we speak, I'm gathering volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> no, Peter Courtney. No, that's good. That is good. That is good. Somebody says, Sounds link. I can consult as a media consultant for the Innocence Project. Somebody else says, I'm on board to do the investigations. This is an investigation specialist. Yes. And then somebody said, I want to be a part of the criminal, a, a part of the Innocence Project.
you not hear me? Let me know in the comment section if you not hear me now. Let me know if it's active. Alright, yeah, hear me now, but when I see me, guys, <laughs> it's like uh, one thing gone, another one, man. Alright, big boss. I would have WhatsApp me. I'm Mr. Carly. But yeah, may I try to sort this out, but yeah, 600 still left on the life. But what I say is, when I say is, I can use the WhatsApp number, call in and share an opinion, said we, you see me? You want to fix things, man. The audio fixer, now we go, we go fix the video capture here so I can see what I go on. You see me? Alright. Custom. But the WhatsApp number they don't know can you utilize it, you know. I don't know can share you know opinion in the comment section. Me I see everything. You see me. It's just that me they are sort out the video capture so I can see what I go on. You see me. Don't no worry. We there, we there. Active again. I no most I see what I go on now. All of the editing I go on for a screen. start the thing <laughs> the thing up you see me so when i say no the whatsapp active the comment section active the mic active i know the most i see me now so yeah i want to see how i go on now remember only me i work with enough so yeah Big boss. All right. Will cartel be free? Now, what I can say is that you might go see road. You see me? The mere fact that it go, it look like it go do a retrial and be a Oh, Isaac taught just to see him. It look like it's going to be a retrial. So. I can't say for sure, say he's gonna be free when I really look at it. From a fan point of view, I can say yes, he might go free. But in general, when it, when you really look on it, yeah, if you yeah, hope say he might go free because it's going back to a retrial. Even though there's not much for there to, or nothing there to retry because everything basically in the public. And that's what Isaac also is pleading for is to actually keep this out of the public. You see me? So for sure, for sure, you might get bail because he has a health issue. So they might get they might get bail on that basis so he can get medical attention. So he's gonna see road. You see me? No doubt about it.
if you really the retrial don't make no sense when you really look on it. When you really look into it, the retrial really don't make no sense. But you have to remember say yo, oh, the the um justice system was embarrassed. Paula Lewin in right now, she's embarrassed. And as Jamaican, the one thing what we like to do is to prove. Yes, when we shame is a hell of a thing when we shame, you know. Tell me, I tell you, you know. Yes, as Jamaican, when we shame, we try to do the most, man. If you know, make it look like, say, yo, it hurt we, but it hurt we. You see me? Me feel like that are the case right now with Paula. Yeah, man, a real thing, man. One thing, yes, well, <laughs> all the talking where you hear she are going, especially today, she probably said what she never wants to say. But the personnel really dry to her and she said, this happened to her on multiple occasions where she had to just use her better judgment and proceed with the case where they were jury tampering without asking the judge to dismiss um the um the jurors so at this point she does a speak out of ignorance that how me feel you see me but when do you grow up that's the thing even adults um them expression when them shame them at the same way them react I don't know if you ever notice um, a mother and a, and a child when they go out yet and the child do the most, like some troublesome picnic and the child do the most and I draw attention. You notice some parents at that the time them beat the picnic the most because of them shame. Most of them probably have to beat the picnic a yard, you know. But because the picnic, I shame them in the public just to take she and face them beat the pitney. You see me? So in our one way I feel like a data take place at the moment. You see me? And that's also gonna affect the whole trial. Like yeah, life is a cycle of course. Ignorance is <laughs> for real, for real, you see me? Tashia. Real. But on a different level, the teacher Agassi Road and that that is a win in itself because he never did Agassi Road in a thirty five years. So in terms of the bill we are talking about, but based on how it look now, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a retrial based on how it look. And based on how Isaac I talk to you can see it. You can hear it. You see me? So, the guys are fans them. The neutral fans them. Persons that are not a fan. Persons where want him to lock up. Yeah, just prepare for a retrial. And they say they at this point. You see me? But, yeah, we have how much I would over here. Check, yeah. So we still have 400 people over here. So I want to think, I want to open on this. When is it the decision date? Um, The decision date, based on how it seems now, they are waiting on a, a court document from the Privy Council for anything to start. That's why bail application don't make it. That's why the DPP them na um met them hold on eh. Yeah, that's why the, the DPP na approached the court of appeal yet and all that. So in terms of decision, I can't give you a date. I don't have that information. But um based on how it seems, the lawyers want the court of appeal to make this a priority case. Meaning them want this case I basically skip the line. And based on how it seems when I was when I heard Bert Samuels talking, it sounds like the court of appeal have a whole heap of case pile up. You see me? So they basically are hoping that this case can skip the line 
and they make this a priority case. And let me see what's going on. Myself, is they will keep cartel spending more money for the defense, draining money for the system. That could be the case, you know. But the money where cartel are gonna spend is not. This is not really for the system, it's for his lawyers. Yeah, they do pay taxes. But just like us, they pay it. We, we probably pay the same amount of taxes as them. And as we know, taxes are like every month. And them not really pay like 150,000. Well, why the, I'm not going to suck up. I don't know how much them get paid. But yeah, them ta- that money there, for example, they might pay 200,000 in a tax. That money there really not do nothing for the system. The money where the system has spent now, where the state has spent, where a peer pile of them and a fund for them um, thing is taxpayers' money. So are we really a cost? Everybody upon the island, we are pay a tax. You see me? Why should a criminal walk free? And this is from Melanin. All right. In this case, in terms of Ipes Cartel case, when I survive cartel guilty, I when I survive cartel not guilty. The reason why we're here at this point is because Vibe Cartel did not get a fair trial. And if you understand anything about law, you're very, very um what's the word I'm looking for? The word now now click at the moment. But yeah. The mom, in terms of law, yeah, them have to make sure say so you, you get a fair trial and if you know, get a fair trial if there's a biasness, if there's jury tampering, evidence tampering and all of that. The case can get thrown out indefinitely. And that's what Vibes Cartel lawyers were hoping for when they went to the Privy Council. But at this point, the Privy Council handed it back to the Jamaica Court of Appeal to make a decision in which they still can throw the court in the, the case indefinitely and they can walk free. But as I explained, in this case, it's not about a criminal walking free. Criminal meaning saying guilty. You see me? We're not here to decide that and we're not talking about him being guilty or not guilty. This whole thing is because he did not get a fair trial. And it's evident. It's clear as day. Basically, with fear, I think now, as I explained earlier, is because she embarrassed. So she basically, I take out that ignorance there upon um, the defendant, them. You see me? And that are the whole thing. Liars fall in different tax bracket. Yeah, we don't pay the same amount of taxes. Yeah, but taxes also depends on how much you earn. So that's why I say that we, we, I can't say for sure how many taxes they pay. But I was just making an example. So if them get that they amount, they, that really not going to really do nothing for the, 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 um, the country. That's a small amount compared to the amount of uh, money where the, the, um, the country spend on a daily basis. Freedom, man. All right. World boss, world government for life. <laughs> and that the word from that word, you see that the world government. <laughs> that's our very serious talk, yeah. Just bear that in mind, world government. You think they want we are to eat the app note, yeah. <laughs> Let me see what I go on again. Let the comment section stop work. But yeah. It's a, a good thing say I'm going to get bail. But with La- Paula Lewin in, with her um em- feeling embarrassed and hurt at this moment. And the whole pop because I don't know if you see it all over social media now. But basically... The whole public is against her. Yes, yeah, I probably want five percent. Where I say yo, vibes can't tell this in a prison and them them agree with the DPP, but the whole 
like ninety five percent of the country are criticize her right now. You see me? Ninety five percent I say yo a bad mind, she bad mind and all of them someday. Yeah, and that's Vibes Cartel. And before him go to prison, him being of the world talking, you see me? That's just him. Yeah, and the public say you never know. The public not paying Isaac, you know. The public is paying the DPP, the prosecution, taxpayers' money. That's why... Um, when they go to the court of appeal, that's going to be included in the defendant's appeal to get this whole thing acquitted. The time and the money wait I got cost. Remember, you know, this world record, the longest case ever in Jamaican history, you know, 64, six, yeah, 64 days. And the amount of money where it costs, I don't remember the exact total, but it costs a whole heap of millions just to facilitate the 64 days of court hearing. So, and based on how it's sown, it's going to be longer this time around. So, it's going to cost more money. Me feel like it could way be an. Um, the DPP um, in terms of hating Vibes Cartel. I mean, I feel like it's really a hate. I feel like it's the influence. And we hear Vibes Cartel say it in the, in the, the Fox 5 interview, say the whole reason why they want to get him away is because of his influence. And they told him once when he went to King's House, I think, with Movado, saying that his influence was affecting the country. Remember, you know, it's the influence is a big thing. That's why I mentioned the hate thing just now. They don't want Vibes Cartel to be the supreme personnel that most persons look to and see as the government, the ruler of the country. You see me? So it go away, but I feel like this whole thing was just to, because of the influence that he was having at the time, was basically to get him locked away. You see me? So they have to build a case around him. Because remember, initially when they arrested Vibes Cartel, you know, none of them cases never existed. You know? Remember, say it was weed. It was initially about weed, much porn of weed. And then they say, what? We have Vibes Cartel in here? All right, let's just lock him down. You see me? And that's how they start building cases. They start here, charge, pan top of charge, a pile up. Him get with half most of them, but this one stick. You see me? He's a candidate for freedom, man. Yeah, yeah, for real. Them do a whole part. Yo, thir- when they look at you know, 13 years is a whole lot of time, you know. And they all have always heard that prison time isn't calculated. Uh, so we calculated real time. I think prison time is around nine to ten months a year. So when I really look back, prison time, much years they would have done behind bars. But on a different level, yeah, them for forward. Yeah, that's why I tell us this thing, um, who may it's a native, yeah, this thing go way beyond parlor. It's just Paula, I get the blame now. I she the pressure on. So I tell you, it's not really about she eating cartel. It's just that the pressure is on her and the Hulk. Remember, you know, the Hulk. You ever say Andrew face yet when the pressure is upon him? Or him face look? That's all Paula feeling now because she coming like the Prime Minister now because the pressure really is upon her. You see me? Coming like a she around the country. You see me? And the reason why the pressure the upon her to most people want to get her out. They want her to resign. That's why they might push it so much. You see me? You see? <laughs> yeah, and it all come back down to pride. You see me? It all leads back down to pride, native. 
is me the pride what she have and she being a Jamaican she now go just leg a certain thing so I, because I remember you know, people are telling her she's wrong you know, people are telling her she's vibes because I tell innocent you ever hear some lawyer arguing in a court you told them passionate them don't want to lose this is about losing and she don't want to lose you see me there's a whole heap of things to it you see me when we can't even explain but there's a whole this just go beyond vibes cartel and the dpp go beyond that you see me christopher don't forget for real for real tasha it's the cook himself all right my eye will be free in less than a week well Based on how it look, we thought he would have gotten bail somewhere around this week. But so far, they haven't gotten the written documents from the Privy Council so they can go to the Court of Appeal. So we still await the bail submission. <laughs> it's a part of eight cartel street. <laughs> That's cartel. What? We arrested. The scatter we arrested. No, they never let him out. Remember they 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 doesn't they haven't seek bail as yet because they're waiting on a document from the Privy Council. And this is for that comment from Paul. Have they got any new information on the case? Well, they won't release that. If they have new information, they won't release that. So we just have to wait, wait to see what happened possibly at trial. Even though it seems as if it's heading in that direction, we still are wait to see if um, this thing will go to trial. You see, the pressure is on, Honcho. Wajinko Paul, you say. Yeah, tune in from Kenya. Alright, bless up yourself. <laughs> Yo <laughs> you say she can catch out the talk. I don't know if you say remember me I may I explain to you, you know. I think this whole thing it's not really personal. It's mainly has to do with winning and losing. I'm going to challenge you most of tonight. Go watch one show, one last show. I think you can watch How to Get Away with Murder. That's one last show. Just watch any last show and you will see how the lawyer them passionate about what they do. They don't want to lose not one bit. I feel like in other we in a this a case, especially with the biggest case in Jamaica, she now lose that man. In a history for years, say you lose the biggest case in a history. You fumble the biggest case in a history. She go she go on right the wrongs that she have done in the initial trial. As I tell you, I think this is less more personal in terms of she eating vibes cartel. You see me? Even in her statement seeking to clarify what being said, she made it straight. She she aired insane. She has no problem to proceed. This matter should have be, never been allowed. Yes, and, that, and today them really jai out her in the interview nationwide. And me feel like that interview they I go come back for bite her. You see me. She blatantly say, yo, this has happened before. And I, she made it clear, say, she, no man, made the judgment to proceed. So I just feel like, so that interview that what she do today, I go come back on by her in her real life. <laughs> the legendary Paula 
What you mean? <laughs> that I go on is. I think that's why, um, and this is respond to the highest frost music. I I say it go, frost frostest music. Um, the reason is because of the evidence that was put into the public after the initial trial, and the evidence, them see it and them hear everything, and also with what. Sir P put out, because Sir P put out all the content from Vibes Cartel too. So with all of them something there, people classify him as that. You see me? But this case, what them not understand, this case is not about him being guilty or not guilty. This case is about him getting a fair trial. And what they're charging him on is not about where Sir P put out. The case where them are charging Pano is a lizard. And at this point, them still cannot prove. Say so yes, him do what him for do. In that this case, not what Sir Pia talk about. You see me? So that's why people classify him as that based on where they are hearing at the public. But they never really see what him do. You see me? But me have to say this too. The evidence them compelling. So it, it would have easily if convince anyone watching those evidence. And then again, you have to remember, say, yo, those evidence, some of those videos were doctored. The evidence was tampered with. But they're not taking that into consideration. You see me? Which rent I did that. <laughs> If you're talking about the the man that was speaking in the video that was Vibes Carter, lawyer, Isaac Buchanan. So it go man. So we just have to just wait and see what play out. Because all we can do is hope, speculate, judge, cause parlor. God that I that the public mostly I do. But none of what we are do really not help him case. You see me, we feel like most of what we are do at this point really kinda do more damage to him case than good because as we may say, even though Paula really want to win, also it's about pride. And the country they on her back. I say, yo, she wrong, she wrong. So she go and prove her wrong, you see me? Say, she right. Oh, she has yes, sir. I love if that she but Gaza Jamaican character and fundamental rights the law double jeopardy section sixteen the night constitution reign supreme eh? like you didn't read the law book man Yeah and yeah you have to cause the thing is you no know, you see, this whole thing, you really have to look upon it from more than one point of view. And you have to really look upon it. Same like, oh, you would have looked upon it. She probably have looked upon it the same way. You see me? Because we are all humans. We, we, we have emotions. And most of the time, we act on our emotions. You see me? So, it could be a case, eh? And that's going on in this case. Why? The DPP are lash out so much. You see me? And especially when, you know, when somebody does, other man say, yo, them right, them right, and you keep on and tell them, say, them wrong, they might go to the ends of the earth for proof, say, yo, them right. You see me? And that's one, one of the things that we are really a play out in this thing. Is it? Even though 
this whole trial is not about her being wrong or right about cartel doing when what them same do is about the free trial. She still I got act on them emotions where people are tell her say she wrong. You have much millions from me can I tell her say yo you're wrong for this, you're wrong for that. She don't want to prove her wrong. Tell me, I tell you. Yo, when man wrong. Yo, when man wrong. H I me no know ring out. <laughs> I don't understand that, that message, that text, that comment. Yeah, I have to write it back over. Yeah, yeah, for real. Even though I'm a person that I don't really like read. But for real, we need to read some more for real. So we can understand them things. Yeah. I understand we rights. Because it's very important. Enough of our rights get violated on a daily basis. And because we don't we don't know them something, yeah. We accept it. You see me? Alright, Terry we said no disrespect to you. All right. They say I'm calm or forward. Uh, all right, that's your opinion. We are waiting to see what really will transpire. So they come in some step forward and all. But yeah, people. How long were they? Over an hour. Alright. All right. Uh, let's see if a civilian is responsible for tampering with evidence. Original is not an option. Well, I'm not versed on that. So I'm not sure what will happen if that's the case. You see me? But a civilian would mean, say, it would be regular persons like us, and if we tamper with it, I think they would have still gone on with it. I would want to think if the persons like the prosecution tamper with it, then the case would have been thrown out. I, I think that's my understanding on it. Lizard was, of course, a part of that life, the gangster life. That's that's not hiding. <laughs> All right. All right, Terry, people, the Matthew. Lizard was if Lizard was a priest. Lizard was no saint and we don't need glasses to see that. You see me? We don't need glasses for that for see that. You say Keisha Keisha get dash out Karim Huncho. Alright, I'll wait and see now. 
of course, as we know, that's where most people are hope for. We just get dash out and the whole of them work free, but the DPP says she not having it. You see me? She has got to push it to the limit. Terry, they might give it to you, Terry. But anyways, people, we're here for a long while. But definitely, as you don't know, if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, subscribe. We provide daily updates. You see me? Yeah, so we get the latest always. You see me? So all you new to the channel, just subscribe said we. You see me? And blessings. Bless up for everybody we tune in again for another, for another live. Yeah. Can't tell you when we're going to go live again just yet, but once we could just look out for the notification, turn the post notification on after subscribing so you know, get notified whenever we drop a video uh, we are go live. But definitely, we'll keep you all posted on any new um, updates as in regards to this case. But currently, no one, nobody can move, neither from the defense nor the prosecution because... They are awaiting the written statement from the Privy Council so they can start making some move, submitting bail um, for the Court of Appeal to make a decision, all of that. You see me? Recommend us, man. Look at the whole case. The whole actual. Well, if you them, if you like, say, yo, them not look through all right, no? <laughs> Nine thousand sheets. <laughs> oh, Sam, we think they just make it easy for themselves and just all right. We squash it. We don't deal with it. You see me? Why, Terry? The people don't got near me for that comment section. They say, "Dash with the key." <laughs> <laughs> it's a lizard. Oh God! No, come out with this again. You don't see lizard. I want go on. <laughs> My brother is telling she she is a lizard and they almost charge her. Terry girl get hit by the teacher. <laughs> Not clean. I that gone. Terry people them say yo. Yeah, show a bag of emotions because the teacher take a girl. I that gone. Anyways, people, feel like I have to clock out, you see me? 200 hours still there. <laughs> but yeah, yes, we have to clock out. And that night, we we'll jump on you again. You see me? But yeah, as we say, people who don't subscribe, subscribe. Leave a like, you see me? Oh, and if you know, and for all of the on the live, we're not hear the interview from. Paula as yet, Paula at the DPP today, where she basically exposed herself. I'm going to go watch the latest video on the channel. So the interview is there, I think around 7 minute interview, so I can go check that out, you see me? You guns are lizard. 
yo, when I sample, you know, man, you say, Uganda is a different last year. All right, let me just have to just lift with them if you don't go and chat, yeah, man. All right, I'm not going to chat. I drink some water because I like it. I don't want the life to done it then. You say, holy police are the one she has climbed. All right, my people. This is a whole pound of a stick around. She went to the other one. But I guess we are going to end the live. Remember, check out the latest video on the channel. Make sure to subscribe. Share the content, you see me? Blessings from blessings to keep on posted, you see me? Yeah. So not for about Terry no more, I'm gonna end the life now. <laughs>